given x of t is t squared minus t plus 2, y of t is t cubed minus 3t. We want to find the vertical tangent and the horizontal tangent. So for the vertical tangent, we're going to set the derivative of y with respect to t equal to 0, provided that dx over dt is not equal to 0. And then for the horizontal tangent, it's going to be the opposite. So we're going to set the derivative of x with respect to t equal to 0, provided that the derivative of y with respect to t is not equal to 0. So clearly we need to take the derivatives of both x and y with respect to t. And so the derivative of x with respect to t is 2t minus 1. And then the derivative of y with respect to t is 3t squared minus 3. So we want to set each one equal to 0. So 2t minus 1 equal to 0. 3t squared minus 3 equal to 0. We get that t is equal to 1 half. And here we can factor out to 3, and we'll have 3 times t squared minus 1. So t squared minus 1 will have to be equal to 0, which means t will be plus or minus 1. Keep in mind that these are all different points. So we're OK here. So in other words, the derivative of x with respect to t and y with respect to t are not 0 at the same time. Okay. So the conditions are fine. Okay, now we need to find what the actual value is. So if t is 1 half, we want to find x of 1 half and y of 1 half to actually find the, the point. And then same thing with t equals plus or minus 1. Well, we need t or x of 1, y of 1, and then x of negative 1, y of negative 1. So we said that x of t was uh, t squared minus t plus 2. So if I plug in 1 half, I end up with 7 fourths. And if I plug in t equals 1 half into t cubed minus 3t, that would be 7 over 64. Okay, so this is the one that is the horizontal tangent. So the step where you plug in t back in, just use a calculator. And then here for x of 1, y1, etc. So for these, when t is uh, positive 1, you get 2 comma negative 2. And when t is negative 1, you get 4 comma 2. And these are all vertical tangents.